everyone, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be doing my 23 and 2023 project pan update. This is pretty much my mid-year update because I believe I haven't done any updates since I uploaded this project since the beginning of the year. I'm definitely due for some new products. I have maybe about half of them that are due to come out and go from there. So if you love Project Pan videos, definitely continue watching. Also, if you're not subscribed, please subscribe and let's just go ahead and jump right in. So the first product on my list here is my Dermablend Cover Care Full Coverage Concealer. Kind of sucks because I'm actually filming on my phone. I've been horrible about doing the counter app because again, I haven't been doing it. I haven't been tallying up these products in the last couple months. I'll have to put it on the screen what my tallies are as of yet. But again, the last few months I haven't been tallying them. Some products I did use um, while I was away from YouTube and then some products I did not. So I'll put my latest update on there and then going on from now, I will try to keep up with it. It's just, it's just been really crazy around my neck of the woods so so it looks like i had picked 10 products for this project i'm working on 10 products at a time that way i can roll stuff in um and not work at, on so many products at once and kind of um, get more use out of stuff less things than having 23 products in at once so again this is the derma brand cover care full coverage concealer i have the shade 23n um this is what it looks like but i know there's about halfway on this there is window on here as well i know there's still product in here i don't plan on taking the stopper off but Again, there's still product in here. I might just weigh this instead of like doing like a tally count of how many times I've used it. I'm not sure. What is easier to remember? I feel like for me, it would be more of weighing the product and then weighing it again at the end because like I don't remember to tally my stuff once I use them because I have the counter app on my phone. But maybe I'll just have to start opening the app and having my phone there. But usually when I'm doing my makeup, I am like watching a YouTube video or something like that. I'm full of excuses, but... I still have this product in here. The next product I have is an empty. This is the ColourPop Pretty Fresh Hyaluronic Acid Foundation. Hyaluronic Hydrating Foundation. I was right here in my intro and this is done. This is a really good foundation. It was one of the older ones in my collection and I actually really enjoyed it, um, but I am happy it's out of my collection because it's older. And yeah, it worked out. I would repurchase it, but I'm not gonna go run to the store and pick it up. I have other foundations that I'd probably be interested in trying. But um, from Colorball, I think it's it's pretty nice. So this is an empty, so I do have one empty to share with you guys. And I'll have to like do a little check mark on my piece of paper here, so that way um, I know I'm done with it. And I can get 23 products in 2023, but the way I'm going, I'm not sure. Okay, next product is my Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finishing Powder. I have the shade 01 Fair. This should have been done, but honestly, I wasn't working on it. So here is what this looks like. And I'll try to put a picture of it from before as well. I need to repress this so it's easier to use. It is a really beautiful powder, but honestly, I forgot I had it. Um, again, I've been MIA for the past couple months on my makeup. I haven't had my whole collection with me as my transition to moving to Las Vegas. So, um... I hope this powder is done actually my goal for next month is going to be for this to be done maybe hopefully or about done so we still have that next up um i have my laura mercier bronzer which is actually an empty this has been done for a while at least like two months ago so i could have been working on something else again it's been crazy on my neck of the woods um this is the laura mercier matte radiance baked bronzer in the shade 03 this is just a mini and as you can see hopefully um, this is empty. I hit pan and it was actually a really beautiful bronzer, um, really radiant and like airbrushed. It didn't look um, chalk, not chalky, but like muddy on the skin or anything like that. It was really, really nice. I would pick this up in a full size, but I've seen Laura Mercier like Marshalls and stuff. So I'm sure I could find it like super cheaper than buying it at like Sephora because I've seen their highlighters at Marshalls in the past, but I am done with this. So I have another empty to, um, roll out. Next product I have here is my Clarins SOS Primer. This is to help blur imperfections. Um, there is um, some lighting that you can see through the packaging. There's only product on the sides. And honestly, I've only really been using this since I came here to Vegas. So it's been a few months since I haven't used this product. But again, I'm trying to get back on board and stay on track. If my positioning seems off, I'm filming on my phone. I haven't set up my camera. Or a filming setup but I really need to because it'll be more nifty to just have my camera in place at all times I have this on today I think it looks nice I have applied a couple pumps and I feel like my makeup looks a little heavy I don't know if it's 
the primer because I feel like it's like a little on the thicker side. It hasn't really been a favorite primer of mine. I just knew that I don't have that much product left in here. So I'm just wanting to finish this off, but I still have quite a bit to go. So that one's still in. Next up, I have my Bare Minerals Well Rested Eye Brightener. Um, and this one is empty just because I did pour it into my Jeffree Star powder that I'll be sharing with you guys here in a bit. I opened the container up and I dumped it in my other powder. So I'm going to be rolling in something in this place, but I still have the powder in because I decided to mix this with my Jeffree Star Cosmetics powder that I have. That powder I really like. It just smooths the skin. It's really nice and lightweight on the skin. This one on the other hand a little bit goes a long way, which I am noticing now. Um, I did mix it with my powder and I feel like my skin looks smooth, but I feel like it does look a little bit heavier like powder and not like a total fan I wouldn't recommend you mixing this concealer powder with another powder just because I feel like it's more on the heavier side it's empty so I am going to roll in something in its place and then next up is the Jeffree Star powder um I did pick up take a picture of it when before I mixed the powder so you guys can see how much powder in both of them I had one on the right is the J Jeffree Star powder and the right is the Bare Minerals but this is how much I have left now um I have used it three times since I mixed them in together I think I still have two maybe two more uses after this um I think I'm still gonna roll in something in its place that way I can work on something else as I'm finishing this product off in a couple of days because again I don't want to wait a whole month before I start working on something else since I'm already behind but um I really like this powder I would definitely repurchase it I know he's very controversial, but he honestly has really good products. His eyeshadows are amazing, and this powder is really good. I have tried his concealer, but I, I can't guess the correct shade. But this one's really nice. Again, it just moves the skin, and it looks really, really nice. So I think next, like, two, three more uses, this will be done. So again, I will be rolling something in its place. Next up, I have my Essence Eyeliner. I've definitely made a lot of progress on this one because I use this to tight line. Um, this is just an um, Essence, like, black pole liner. And I do have, hopefully the camera picks it up. If not, I'll take a picture of it and post it. Um, but I've made like half of the progress since the beginning of the year. I don't know if you guys can see, but if not, again, I'll put a picture next to it. I've made a ton of progress on this. I use this to tight line. I use it every single day. Again, I would forget to um, do my tallies on this, but this was definitely a product I use every single day, even when I wasn't um, filming or anything like that. I used to tight line sometimes in my waterline to darken the look or even to smoke um, the lash line as well. Um, but yeah, I really like this. I don't know how much longer this will take me, but I do, I do use it every single day. And then the last product to share with you guys is my Pop Beauty Pout on Point Lip Liner in the shade Risky Rosé or rose I'm not sure but this is how much product I have left in here not much, very much left I made a little bit of progress since my updates not very much honestly this should have been done but I actually forgot I was working on this so still in my project I have it on my lips and then I applied a little bit of my makeup by Mario moisture glow plumping lip serum and blush glow and that's my lip combo for today and it's pretty pigmented. It's pretty nice. So I'm gonna start using this every single day, even if I don't wear makeup. Now that I've been, now that I live in Las Vegas, I actually don't really do my makeup every single day. Before when I worked, um, I obviously applied makeup every single day, and now here it's like every couple of days is when I'm doing my makeup. I want to try every other day, um, just because I don't really want to have a full face just being home and staying home. But I guess it'd make me feel better if I did. I guess it's just more of a for myself so we have some products to roll in so let me go ahead and share those with you guys i actually did forget to talk about one more product in this project this is the kaleidos tone activator eye primer um i did take a picture of this when i've been using it there's a lot of air in here and as you can see oh, it's actually not coming out um i believe there's like less than half of it in here now i like messed this up but I, I like this primer, but I find that with certain like shimmer shadows, it kind of makes them crease. I don't think this is a primer that I would repurchase. I don't know. It's okay. I am wearing it with my eyeshadow today. I do use it every single day since I've been here. I do hate that every time I open it, it's always like dirty like this. So I always just grab the product from right there. I never really squeeze the packaging and it's okay again i wouldn't repurchase this it's okay i think if you have dry eyelids i think this would be good for you but if you're like oily i wouldn't recommend it again it's an okay primer but i wouldn't repurchase this 
Okay, now for my ColourPop Pretty Fresh Foundation, I'm actually gonna roll in my Fenty Beauty Ease Drop Blurring Skin Tint in the shade number seven. I've had this since it came out. A friend gave this to me for my birthday when it like came out that year. Has it been like a couple of years? I'll have to look it up, but I'm gonna work on this and I just shook it up, but I believe it's like around the E or the N, so I'll mark it right there. Hopefully I can finish this off. It is 1.08 fluid ounces. I do remember liking this with my fingertips more than with a brush or a sponge, so I'm looking forward to using this and going from there. This will probably be better than an actual foundation for everyday use since, since it is a skin tint, so we're going to be working on this. The next product I'm going to roll in, so I need three products, is my Pat McGrath little mini here the blow up sheer color balm and this is what it looks like I don't have very much to use up but I kind of want products that I can finish off here in the next few like month or so hopefully this is done in the next month I'm gonna really try to work on this put apply my pop beauty liner with this and hopefully it's an everyday combo for me and then lastly for once I'm done with that Jeffree Star powder I am going to is that it oh no the Laura Mercier bronzer, I'm gonna bring in another mini bronzer. This is the Fenty Beauty Sun Stalker in the shade Shady Biz. I do have quite a bit of product in here still, um, but I am going to try to finish this off. Um, it is a mini. Again, I think this is like the only mini left in my collection. I only have full sizes in my collection. I wanna get um, finish this off hopefully and get it out of my collection. And then lastly for the Jeffree Star powder that's not done yet, but I do wanna roll something in its place just in case I finish it off. I should finish it off in the next couple of days or a couple of times I do do my makeup. I'm gonna bring in another powder. This is the Urban Decay All Nighter and Translucent. When I was shopping my stash, I saw that I don't even have that much product left in here. This is probably a product like, and this too, that I should be working on like closer to the end of the year. I just realized that lipstick is for the Partners in Cream project, not for this one. So I'm actually going to have to take that out and put something else in its place. So, um. I should be working on products that are going to take me longer to use up than products that have a little bit left because this is what I should be working on the last couple months left of the year to meet my goals but I don't know what do you guys think I'm just gonna do it um again this is the all-nighter and translucent softening loose setting powder again there's not very much left in here literally like this much so this is gonna get rolled in once I finish off this one okay so instead of the Patrick um Patrick Pat McGrath lipstick I'm going to roll in this Shantikai Cheek Shade in the shade Grace, and it's the Sea Turtle. I'm gonna try to use this up instead. Again, I wanted to work on products that are gonna take me a little longer than a couple months to finish off. So hopefully I can finish this off. I think a friend has panned this already, and this has point, it's 0 0.08 ounces or 2.5 grams. Um, I don't, the Sea Turtle is still visible on there, but it was visible more before it was kind of raised. So we'll see how I can do this. So I'm gonna put this in instead of the Pat McGrath lipstick because that one goes in my Partners in Cream one instead and go from there. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Let me know if you're doing any projects. I'd love to check out your updates. Um, again, give this video a thumbs up. Please subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you all in my next video. Bye.